Glacier National Park is an iconic American landscape. Its turquoise waters and jagged mountain peaks aptly called the crown of the continent. I think it's a gem in the crown. Corey Holloway has been a guide in Glacier for 15 years, yet she's already seen the kind of glacial melt that once would have taken a lifetime. Personally, it's sad. I mean, I have kids that I would love to be able for them to see this at this stage, you know, and it just keeps getting smaller. Corey took us on a five-mile hike up to the top of Grinnell Glacier. It used to be one of the park's largest. In 1938, it covered an entire valley, but between 1981 and 2009, it rapidly dissolved. The glaciers have been shrinking since 1850, yet scientists say human-fueled climate change has made the melt quicker and more extreme. Since 1966, 11 of them have completely melted away. It's true that these glaciers would be melting naturally, but scientists believe they'd likely last another 100 years. With the human factor, they say all of these glaciers could be gone in just 10 to 20 years. We are into something that is very unusual. Dan Fagre is a scientist with the United States Geological Survey. What changes are you seeing here in Glacier? The glaciers are only the most obvious. We've seen changes in our snowpack, for instance. Uh, they, they disappeared two to three weeks earlier. We've had a 50-year decline overall on average of the snowpack. And snow feeds everything that you see here. I mean, all the trees, the uh, streams and so forth are all directly impacted by the snowpack. That water is a lifeline for the animals that call this place home, such as bighorn sheep and moose. Hotter summers are also making the forest drier, leading to more extreme wildfires. How different does this park look 20 or 30 years from now? It'll still be, you know, a, a terrific landscape to come and enjoy, um, but it will have been changed by climate change. While some may argue about how much humans are to blame, there is no debate that what we are witnessing is the twilight of the glaciers. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Montana.